What's that? Your champion, Lakey Peterson. I'm Lakey, and this is my vlog. Platinum Fitness. It is in Summerlin, California, which is pretty much Santa Barbara, where we live. Um, so Peter, I've known him my whole life. He trained uh, my parents, and he trained my brother and sister, and then obviously he's trained me. I don't know, he's just a person in my life that's always believed in me, and never judged me for any of my results, good or bad. He just wants me to genuinely be uh, the best that I can be, and, and he cares about me as a person, so he definitely kicks my ass. <laughs> Peter's philosophy is just having a really solid base foundation of your overall fitness level before getting into more advanced stuff in the gym. I think as you get older, um, you know, I'm still only 26, but later in life when you get 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, that solid foundation is critical to staying healthy and and doing what you love for longer. So um, I really do love that philosophy of Peter. I think he does a great job with it. Well, I've known you since I was five. You came in with board shorts and climbed on the machine and that you're done. I disrupted the gym control. energy. <laughs> We did a uh, foundation, which I've done for ages. Now we're gonna do a core round, and then the main workout. So. When, if ever, did you think I was gonna be a professional athlete? Well, right away. When you were jumping on the bars when you were five. You, you were beating the guys at the baseball club. What was my best sport of this? Tennis, I okay. think. The perfect build. Yeah, I know. You got the power. No. My weakness? I used to always think my weakness was single leg stuff, but... Just the posterior chain's always been a little dicey. It works. I mean, yeah. Because I think there's fear and then there's some weakness, so it's kind of a bad combo. Yeah. I feel horrible. Oh, 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 Alright, so that was uh, a bunch of plyos kind of the plyo set that I would do regularly, or do do. Um, now we're gonna get into more of a strength-based type of stuff. I mean, any athlete at first has to have a, I think, a basic level of stability and strength before they can do all the sport-specific stuff like Lakey does now. I mean, she's worked for 10 years getting a, her strength, you know. But until you have that, all this sport-specific stuff is pretty much meaningless. Of course, like surfers and I'd say baseball players do more rotational work. Yeah. Because that's in their sport. You know, football players don't need so much rotational work. We're definitely surfers, uh, what's another sport, motocross. Yeah. They have to have, especially motocross has a, has a big endurance. Yeah. yeah, every sport has their, you just look at the demands of the, the sport and kind of tailor to their once they got that basic level of strength. Never in surfing do you want to be big? No. So you have to have the power and you have to have like some strength, but then you want to be really lean. This exercise is called the sassy row. Peter named it after me. I'm quite sassy about it because I, I don't like it. Then try it. You tried to train me at 12, and all we did, the first thing, the Why reason I started training with you is because I started coming to your foundation classes. Yes, yeah. And so we did all foundation to get my body, like, everything working. And then slowly, 
added weight. Weights and stuff like that. But I mean, if there's someone that's weak, they have to be able to do five to eight pull-ups as a guy, maybe a couple as a girl. Yeah. Ten great push-ups as a girl, fifteen or twenty as a guy. Yeah. So basic you gotta like get these like basic strength. Basic strength first and then, you know, try to do swings, learn how to do swings and Turkish get ups and yeah. heavy carries and then once they got that then all the Well I feel like when you're young too you naturally are like my box jumps when I was fifteen on jump over anything. Oh, yeah. it's, I don't even have to train that. But no. now I'm twenty six I have to do flyers otherwise yeah. my pump your, is gone. So as as now. you get older you have to like yeah. really put more work in those areas. Especially yeah. for circuits. I mean, my favorite exercise I, I do like those ones we were just doing in the end, actually. And I also like all the plyo stuff that we do. I was going to say sleds are great, but maybe my least favorite. <laughs> I don't love deadlifts. Because you've always had a good one. I've always like, been weak in that area. Awesome, guys. That was uh, one of my workouts. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along. Um, in the comments, send in any questions you might have for me regarding working out, health, fitness. We are going to head home now and do a bit of recovery and we're going to jump in our ice bath. So we'll explain more about that in a minute. Alright guys, <laughs> I'm in my robe. I'm going to show you <laughs> my post-workout routine ice bath. Love it but hate it. Um, we put one in our backyard so that we can do it more. And we do love it, it really has incredible benefits. I think the easiest way to describe what the benefits are would be that it flushes the byproducts kind of out after a really hard workout, which we just did. So for soreness or stiffness, um, let's go buy the avocado tree around the fruit tree. So for soreness or stiffness, it's gonna help reduce all that inflammation and, and small micro tears in there and repair it quicker. So um, it's amazing for after flying, Generally, honestly, after just a huge, big day. Uh, and it's also really good for sleep and overall immunity. So, uh, let's do it. First of all, step one, make sure that your freezer is unplugged. Otherwise, we get electrocuted. Everyone does it at different temperatures, so I'm not gonna give you an exact temp. Just, just be very cold. So I'm gonna try and do two minutes. I and do 10 really quick breaths when I get in. And then I'm gonna go <clears throat> really long exhales with a, like a, five to 10 second hold at the end. Here we go. I also got cupping today. So that's the marks on my back. I don't have one for C, it's just, just cupping. Recovery these days. I always find that after the first minute, it gets a little easier, but right now it's not feeling like that. I would also just recommend doing this with someone present and <laughs> talking to a healthcare person before this. I'm, I'm not giving any formal recommendations, so do your own research, but that's what we like to do. Oh, now I'm gonna get out because I'm getting cold. Your turn, babe. <laughs> Are you kidding? Go. One, two, three, go. 10 quick breaths. Quick, quick, quick. 10 breaths and then slow it down. Zen warrior. This process is the sauna. Uh, we use a infrared. You can use an infrared. You can use a regular of all sorts. Um, I love the sauna. I love going back and forth. Once I warm up from the ice bath, I might do a couple quick back and forth, but um, yeah, the sauna is kind of my own little Zen time. So see you later. So, I am Lakey's husband, and I'm also an Australian osteopath. Works very well for Lakey in terms of uh, constant treatment and uh, trying to get things dialed. She's actually had uh, a few back issues, I think going back five or six years now. Been trying to work on freeing her hip up, uh, number one. Working on, on her mid-back uh, mobility. And then also, uh, in high stress situations, really trying to learn to uh, decompress and use her breathing to bring herself back and allow the tissues to become less rigid. So does Lakey ever pull the, uh, the treatment card on me unnecessarily? Um, I would have to answer yes, sorry babe. So I, I try and get treatment at least once a week. 
Depends too when I'm competing. I bug Tom a little bit more often than when I'm not competing because uh, I can get away with it. And often after a big travel day or if I'm training and surfing a ton, uh, my right leg gets a bit shorter and tighter and everything hangs on so in turn that kind of throws my lower back off and that's where my issues have been coming from. So I'm um, just constantly trying to get it back to even and, and um, relaxing it. And a lot of it for me comes from stress too. So focusing on the mental side of things. And I'm now 26, which I know is still very young, but compared to when I was 18, my body does feel a lot different and pulls up a lot different. So I would just encourage young surfers, boys, girls, and as you go through your 20s, even my age, um, to really put the work in to prevent injury and understand your body and what you need because everyone's completely different. Um, my right hip might be my thing, but yours could be a totally different thing. Yeah, it takes hard work. And I think for me, even I'm young and I'm still in my career and I have so many goals that I still want to hit and I'm, I'm in the thick of it, but I'm also, you know, wanting to take care of myself for longevity in the future after my surfing career. And, um, you know, I want to have a long, healthy, uh, vibrant life and keep doing what I love. So recovery and putting time and effort into that is how I, I plan on doing that.